OK, let's head over to see what Chef Mark's up to today in the Beko kitchen. Do you say chilli con carne or chilli con carne? Chilli con carne sounds posher. OK, cool. Well, we'll go with that. Let's hope you make it posh. It looks pretty complicated, actually. No, 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 no it's good. We've got some, uh, we've got some nice chilies there. We've got the kidney beans, we've got the tomatoes, you know, we've got all the classic things. But instead of uh, some beef mince, we've put chicken in there. And I've done that for you. Nice, you thank like you. Chicken. I do like my chicken, yeah. So nice. a little twist on it, but the same, same old thing. It's a really good one. It's great for the time of year as well. Yeah. Warm your walk and uh, great for this weekend. Nice and substantial too. I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to this. Great stuff, Mark. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, a family favourite this morning, chilli con calm, but you've chefified it up. I love chicken and you put some chicken in this recipe. Well, I wouldn't say chefify. <laughs> we just swap, swap beef for chicken. Wow, well, We've right. changed it. We've yeah. changed it. We call that chefified here. OK, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. What do we need to do? I'm hungry. Right, so we're going to start it. So, um, we're like, as you would a normal chili con carne, you're going to fry your meat off first. So okay, we're going to do that with the chicken. So got the chicken here. A couple of options now. You can put it in a food processor and just sort of like pulse it up and blend it. Yep. You know, it gives you a different texture or just slice it nice and thin. Okay, cool. So that's what I've done here. We're going to get that warm. I'm okay, put so a little knob of butter. Okay, cool. So a bit of the alpha one and a bit of the butter. Yeah, and this is going to help us get a bit of flavour in there Ooh, and, and uh, you know, get a nice colour on the chicken. So once all that's like um, bubbling, yep. you can pop that in. Okay, cool. And then we'll just keep that on a on a high heat and then just keep cooking the chicken, you know? So we can we can get a bit of um, okay, cool. uh, browning on the chicken. That's fine. That's all good. So important stage as well. As, you, as you're browning your meat, salt and pepper in there. And then I'm just going to slice some onions and garlic as well. So we're going to start adding up all the flavours. Okay, cool. When you've got chicken like this, you, is it good to sort of space them all out evenly? Yeah, yeah. Space, yeah it, cool. space it out evenly. And then, you know, we've got a nice heat in there. So we're just going to keep stirring it around. Okay, cool. Oh, it smells good. Butter and chicken. <laughs> okay, and salt and pepper <laughs> too, yeah. Yeah, so a little, a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I've got some uh, onions that I'm just going to thinly slice here. And I've got some garlic, which I'm also going to slice as well. So we're really building up the textures and flavours in this uh, chilli con carne. You know, that's, it's all about texture. OK, sweet. Nice work. I'll keep stirring this. So you, you give it a good stir. And, and you know, the chicken's not going to take long to cook. We are going to cook everything in a, in a tomato and sort of chilli sauce, so that's fine. So we're just looking for that you know, nice brown in there and, and toss it around so you sort of, you know... OK, cool. Take it so off from raw. Nice and brown. And that butter's really helping with the browning up, isn't it? Good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's why you use butter, just okay. for the browning. Yep. And the flavour. <laughs> yeah. Right, onions go in. So, again, nice and thin. You know, you've got that extra butter in there and fat, so that's just going to soak mm. into the uh, onions. And we want to we just cook them until they're translucent. Okay, cool. Okay. Nice. Right, and then we've got some veggies. So, I've got some celery here. So, I get your celery, and I'm just going to dice this up. So, you just... Do it into nice little slices and then just go across and we'll get a nice dice. I'm going to do the same with the carrot as well and then we're going to add those. I've got a friend, Mark, who's uh, having a baby very soon and they read that you never have time to cook so what they've started doing is making meals and freezing them, you know, like, like how Six Clark months worth for her old man, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, this, is, this will be a good one to put in the freezer. No, this is a great one, yeah, yeah. and you can, you, know, you can increase the quantities as well. You know, if you've got a nice big pot, you know, do heaps in there. Yeah, mm. stick it in the freezer. It's a good idea, actually. Oh, this is smelling and looking good. Okay, that chicken needs a little bit longer, but I can see the sort of brown consistency we're going for. I'll stop moving it so it actually cooks. It's always the thing that I do. <laughs> Keep moving them around. So we've got the diced celery, the diced carrot, some onions, some yeah. butter, a bit of the Alpha One rice bran to keep the chicken cooking nicely. And then we're just gonna we're gonna cook that for about five minutes now. And then we're going to start adding the rest of our um, flavours into there now. Mm, so, yes. And that consists of chilies. Look at this. Because it is a chilli con carne. So That's we do expect it to have a little bit of a kick, which it will. No, no, I'm happy with that. It's going to be brilliant. Things are smelling really good here. Last amount of carrots in. Of course, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. We will show you how to finish this off very soon. Right now, though, in the Beko kitchen, we are cooking up a storm here. This is looking and smelling really good. It's chilli con carne with a bit of a twist. We're using chicken. It's nice and substantial. It's affordable, this meal. And now we're at the spices stage and the chilli stage. Yeah, that's it. So we've, we've got a bit of heat into the vegetables there, so it's starting to release the flavours. A little bit of chilli goes in. So okay. I'm going to put a little bit of fresh chilli in first. I've got some chilli powder here. Yep. So I'm going to pop that in. And then, so it's entirely up to you, you know, how much you pop in, um, how hot it's going to get. That's, it's not too hot. You know, obviously, 
try your chilli powder first and know how hot it is. Yeah, right, yes. How you know, hot is you, that chilli powder? Uh, no, it's uh, not very hot. Well, I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait right, what's that? And then we've got some uh, paprika. So oh, this yeah. is a sweet paprika as well. You know, so we'll get some good flavour off there, so we nice. won't get much heat off that. Okay, cool. And does you the know, sweetness balance out the sort of chilliness, so to speak? Uh, yeah, fractionally, yeah. Okay, yeah, sweet. it sort of will, it will a little bit. Okay, nice. And then, because we're using powders, you know, just pop them in, stir them around, and cook them for a couple of minutes as well. You know, we'll release the flavours, and you'll just you'll bring them to life almost. Oh, this is looking so good. So you can smell it. You can start smelling yep. them now. Everything's looking nice. What do you got there? Right, and then I've got a, a can of tomatoes. Yep. So that goes in. Okay. So that's all good. And uh, I've got some passata. Some what, sorry? Passata. Passata. So, so this is a tomato sauce, so you can get this in the supermarkets oh, yeah. now. Or, you know, if you grow tomatoes at home and you've got loads of tomatoes like in the season and you don't know what to do with them, just pop them all in a pan, cook them down, a little bit of garlic, and, uh, and then you end up with this. And you can Brilliant. just blend it or you can leave it chunky, you know, bottle it up and then, you know, it's perfect for the recipe in winter. Jeez, I'd heat that up in soup too for a day at the office. Well, even. you could do yeah. as well. All right, so that all goes in there. Nice and work. then we just want to sort of cook it down. Okay, okay, so bring it up to the boil, turn it down and just slowly cook it, you know, and get all those flavours in. Right, so we've got a bit of chilli in there, but if you want to make it even more spicy and authentic, add some chilli sauce as well. And okay. It's, and it's great, you know, you can add this at the end, or it's really good actually to add it in now, and it will just all cook together. And that's you know, the uh, world-famous Cholula sauce, one of the most popular chilli sauces in the world. Yeah. So nice to have you on the cafe, thank you. Um, oh, yeah, good. Hopefully that lasts here. Somebody will steal that bottle, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, cool. Things are smelling and looking fantastic here. There's a good mixture of ingredients. Right, the aromas so are coming from the pan, and we just wait now, do we? Yeah, so we're just going to let that cook out. And then towards the end of the cook, we've got these kidney beans, which we've just um, drained off. Just give them a quick rinse, and then they just go in. And basically, they're all soft, so you just want to warm them back up. And we're going to serve it with some like, fresh coriander and a little bit of sour cream to uh, balance the chilli out. Brilliant. Okay, can't wait to try this, which we will do a little later in the show. How's your chili con carne turned out? Oh, it's come out great, and it's uh, it's got a nice kick as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's, gonna... it's got a kick, all right. I can smell it from here. <laughs> so we're just going to serve it up now. A little bit of sour cream just to mellow it out Yum. on top, and a sprinkle of fresh coriander, and that is good to go. Look at that. Brilliant. Nice work. What a great winter dish. Yeah, yeah and with beautiful. chicken. How unique. Mm. Okay, you've got a special guest on Monday. I certainly have. Sally Holland's joining me and we're doing some gluten-free baking.